Welcome, William here. What are we looking at today? We are looking at construction contracting operations management level six, and we are looking at unit 16. This is the introduction to that unit. And the title of that unit is Control Contract Work in Construction Operations Management. If that's what you're looking for, you've come to the right place. Well, it has a credit value of 13, which makes it a middle of the range kind of unit. And let's have a look at the unit summary. What's the unit all about? This unit is all about controlling work activities, ensuring that they comply with quality standards and legal and statutory require requirements. Um, if you're on the MVQ program, you will need to uh, research quality standards, implement systems, and check for conformity and evidence how you do that. Uh, you'd have to evidence how you implement corrective action where there is non-conformity. And you will need to identify legal and statutory requirements, implement systems and identify non-compliance, implementing corrective action where there is non-compliance. That's an academic way of putting it. I'll try and break it down a little bit further as we go into the introduction. If you're on the MVQ program, the typical evidence requirements are non-compliance documentation, method statements, site inspection reports, documents regarding statutory and legal information, perhaps an F10 and RIDA reports. There are four learning outcomes in this unit. A learning outcome is something that you ought to be able to evidence if you're on the MVQ system or something that you ought to be able to do and apply or, or take on board as a part of a learning process. That is what a learning outcome is. So there are four of them in this unit. The first is be able to control contracts against agreed quality standards and guidance. So we're speaking about quality assurance. Two, understand how to control contracts against agreed quality standards and guidance. So we have two units very similar. One is gives you the opportunity to ex express your knowledge and, this, and the first one gives you the opportunity to produce um, documents, product documents of you carrying out those activities in the workplace if you're on the MVQ program. The third learning outcome, be able to maintain contract compliance with statutory and contractual requirements. And the fourth, very similar, understand how to maintain compliance with statutory and contractual requirements. So again, twofold types of learning outcomes, excuse me, itchy nose. One, again, um, requesting product information and the two, requesting um, information on what you know. So let's have a look at the overview. I had a look at this unit earlier and wrote a little report, the overview. overview. Well, from my perspective, it's a smallish unit. First part of this unit is all about knowing, setting, monitoring and maintaining quality standards from the project specification and building regulations, for instance. The second part of this unit is all about knowing, setting, monitoring and maintaining statutory and contractual compliance. Coming into this content of this unit are topics such as the CDM regulations and as mentioned, well I haven't mentioned it yet, building regulations, knowing, communicating and managing the works to the work specification and design brief. Perhaps it sounds a bit complicated. However, the management process of these issues is the same for all construction elements. Holding the correct meetings, disseminating information to the right people at the right time, monitoring and ensuring complying, and anticipating and managing change as it occurs or before. Well, that's the end of the introduction to this unit. In our audio podcasts, we go through all of the learning outcomes in detail. We give an explanation of all that's requested, and with regards to uh, product and knowledge, and 
If you're needing further guidance, I would really encourage you to avail yourself of the podcast guidance which goes into this unit to the finest detail.